AI is going to bring a lot of wealth to um, our world, but uh, we can't count only on markets for that. Uh, there are aspects of uh, what AI could do which are not going to be typically picked up by companies. And so we need organizations like the UN, governments, philanthropy, to work together towards goals that are important for uh, the whole of humanity and not just uh, the typical applications that companies will look at. AI over the next decades is going to bring a lot of changes to our societies and uh, we need to prepare for those changes. Uh, as, a, as a comparison, if you think about what happened with the Industrial Revolution from you know, the 19th and uh, early 20th century, uh, it, there's been a lot of misery that came along with those changes. If we had put in place, for example, the social safety net that only came uh, around the Second World War uh, in the 19th century, then a lot of that could have been avoided. Now, instead of taking 100 years to come, it's going to take you know, a few decades or maybe just one decade. So we need to start thinking about those changes and, um, and put in place the policies and regulations to make the transition better for everyone. So, so my hope is that a lot of the research mental energy that now is being put by AI researchers to develop the next gadget for your phone will be put in thinking about questions that uh, are important for the poorest on our planet, like, like hunger, like uh, agriculture, like uh, health, but you know, uh, the kind of uh, medical uh, applications which uh, will help the, the many which don't have medical services at all right now. So there are a lot of questions, or also the environment, uh, where there isn't necessarily uh, a strong uh, commercial incentive. So we need universities, we need um, organizations like the UN, uh, funding organizations in, in various countries to uh, make sure that there are incentives for researchers or even startups to um, use their, their creativity, their brains, their expertise, and to talk with the people who uh, know about uh, those issues, the social scientists, the people working in the field, uh, to, to bring those people together, for example, to build maybe a repository of data sets of uh, importance uh, socially um, and, um, and, and, and uh, connect those researchers who don't know anything about the, those issues but they are experts in AI with the, the, the people working in the field trying to solve these social problems around the world. I don't think that humans are going to be replaced by machines anytime soon. I think there's a lot that uh, machines can help us with uh, and um, we, we need still humans to, to take the important decisions to care for human values. Uh, of course, it, you know, in some very remote future things may be different, but I think for the foreseeable future um, humans remain at the center stage.